Shevchenko. Welcome. Hello to everyone. And let's begin. First, I will say a little bit about my experience and about myself. Then you will know a little bit about my stuff. Uh, so I'm uh, working as a concept artist uh, about 10 years, illustrators, and I have worked in a quite different styles. I have master degree in art as a classical graphic and uh, last time, last few months, uh, about three, four months ago, we all see very interesting situation in social media. It was like artificial intelligence uh, images is everywhere and it was a lot amount of them. And while I do all this uh, presentation, a lot was changing because uh, all this stuff was very uh, fast and dynamic change and it improved every month. And uh, a lot of stuff you could see now each month is better and better. So uh, you will see on this presentation very different examples of image and why uh, what is my interest in all of this so uh, not only it's very interesting for me personal but also i see a lot of uh, questions thoughts mistakes all about this uh, art artificial intelligence that was created and uh, a lot of misunderstanding of all of this so that's why I try to explain it for myself, what will happen, how it will happen, and also try to talk uh, with you, share all this uh, information and my thoughts, what I'm prepared. And uh, this speech is not about technical moments and technical things like how to create, how, what you will need to know, uh, all this stuff, but it's more about fundamental understanding of AI, how it will impact in all this situation, how we could perceive it and all of this. So first I want to begin from the what I image. What does it mean? Because uh, now it's changed a little bit because uh, always image was something that created by human to represent something, some idea, some composition, some thoughts and all this stuff. And from middle age, port image appears about in 20th century. And I wish to make a proposition to use the new word, I image, it's kind of from IE and image combined, because it will be much more easier than uh, say, uh, traditional images and images that was created uh, with IE, so we will have images and illustration and I image. So you could also use it in future if you wish. So the main thing, image, how neural networks will affect the production of the games. And what is I image? Just briefly, all you know how neural network was studying uh, all of this big data put inside the algorithm and it was created uh, images because of the big database and the colors and shapes that it had. It's important because it's not begin the creation from the line like some artists and later we will talk about it. And does it reach high possibilities at this moment? Image and quite uh, it, it showed quite a good result. Composition, colors, as you can see, it's even now it's even have 
uh, good anatomy without a lot of mistakes that was few months ago. You can create the series of uh, bikini in the style of an Egypt if you wish. You can create a lot of different stuff. You can create bottle composition with a lot of spacements. You can create uh, all such funny. <laughs> Yeah. I will try to stay here and hope. Yeah. So you, you can create even such funny old pictures <laughs> with the puppets from the Muppet Show. You could create a lot of posters in comic style, different. And it's a good example of what an image could be, could make. It's characters from Fallout. First or second, I don't remember, but as you can see, it's greatly improved. Improve the characters. It's the second example, and it's not so good. As you can see, it's uh, improved kind of all characters and make it realistic, but could we use any of them? It's questionable. But what is really good is the architecture. You can create a lot of cool stuff for the background from the images for the compositions and concepts that you need and all other stuff <laughs> what you wish but what about character design i create some examples uh, it was made it made it uh, create in the image journey by me and as you could see uh, these characters have quite cool idea silhouettes and even design elements, but could you give this uh, image just to modeler and will it, will modeler <laughs> make the character from it? No, but it's very good base. Later we'll talk about it, but this one, as you could see, is have much more clean shapes, but it's not so easy to reach such design, such clear elements, shapes, and all this stuff. And this is Walter, good artist. He made a lot in the journey and post cool, a lot of stuff. And it's example from the stable diffusion, the other service from Ryota Otska. So what's the purpose of image? Fun and creativity, it's the main reason and countless Instagram pages of such artists was created for the last months, as you could see. And now a lot of them was creating images. Uh, it's also interesting for technology research, just to understand how it works. And it will be very good for each people to try by himself uh, to reach some images that you need, because before you try it, if you don't try it, you, you don't understand how, how it works. And of course, for inspiration and work, practical uses, game development, jewelry, illustration, comics, and visual novels, and closest design for modeliers. Will neural network replace artists? For now, it's just a question, and later we will find out how the process of creating of image is happen. Generation occurs from a shape and tone as uh, with certain type of artists. So, uh, as I said previously, it's begin from the tone and shape and it have roulette principle. Uh, if you don't try, then I will explain uh, what does it mean when you put something you create a request to create some image. It uh, could show you something absolutely different, what you didn't even ask. So you could uh, put this request dozens of times while you receive something look like what you need. 
And after this, you begin to iterate this idea that you receive. So it's not so easy, not so uh, fast. And uh, sometimes it's much better, for example, to make a long request with the prompts. And you will receive kind of what you uh, try to receive. But sometimes it's better to just uh, write the short request. The roulette principle will be much more higher, but sometimes with a short request, you will receive very great result. And you could see it on the official site of Midjourney. Uh, isn't final and ending always better? It's it's the meme about what uh, a lot posted. And I have a life hack about it. I will show you, for example. When you begin to create something, first you could see like this, this Pokemon and you say, wow, it's a beginning. Then it will <laughs> reach final and it will be very beautiful and cool stuff. But when it reach final, as you could see, it's, it's very creepy <laughs> and all of this. And you will see a lot of such situation. That's why I strongly recommend uh, to save your, sorry, I will be <laughs> drinking from time to time because I need it when I talk a lot. Uh, and with, especially with humans, as you could see, uh, firstly, you will see the beautiful girls, men's of any ages. First, they always beautiful. But when they reach the end, it's often become creepy. So don't put the, don't give the request to the program and only return to take the final result. Look at it when it's improving and save each step when it improve. It's, you will see each step about 10% step by step is improving. You could find a lot of such examples on the internet. Uh, so, and a little bit about differences between neural network. I compare uh, mostly the mid journey and uh, stable diffusion. What you could see here, it's uh, the same request with the same prompt, but result is absolutely different. It was something like abandoned city with lots of poplar and uh, maybe it's all, maybe something more ah, in style of Halo and something more. This is what Midjourney uh, made and this is what Stable Diffusion made. Result is absolutely different, but what's good and what I like more in Midjourney, for example, it's the lighting colors, all this perspective, they have very good uh, result from time to time. It's uh, small compare the settings yeah, window of uh, mid journey and stable diffusion. Stable diffusion have much more settings when where you can uh, hmm, how to say it. Yeah, customize. And uh, they different. <laughs> what I could say now. And um, this one more example that I wish to uh, show to you is the from the mid journey. It's the third and fourth uh, algorithm. So uh, mid journey have. At this moment, five type of algorithm, and you could choose which one of which one of them will made your request. And this is from third one and the fourth test. So now, as you could see, the test one have the kind of logical, more logical uh, elements. It don't have such 
chaos inside and it's understandable shapes and this is the third and the request was the same it's something like the epic duel between Gundam robots uh, something like this and for for example for the good artist the third one is a very good base that you could improve to receive very good dynamical composition and the force force not, not so it's it's more cleaner but it's not such interesting and uh, any of them but if uh, you will wish to make something by yourself without artist then yeah force algorithm could be your result but I think about this difference and this one more example it's the I think you all knew about the wave of Hokusai one of the greatest uh, artists of Japan and it's the first second and third algorithm and you could see how the same request will give absolutely different result so depending on what you need uh, or just interesting ideas composition or much closer to the style but you could choose this all you could choose between these algorithms it's very interesting <laughs> uh, fragment how Pelevin connected to all of this if uh, you know uh, Russian language if you read books and literature Pelevin is uh, one of the like controversial uh, writer and he uh, write very sometimes interesting novels and snuff is uh, very connected to our today's topic and why so a short description of the novel it was right about 11 years ago and it's uh, about post-apocalyptic world uh, in which main character working as a cameraman and uh, making a video like flying uh, he have kind of battle drone camera so he could uh, make all this uh, he receive the video material that he uh, make <laughs> and um, his sexual cyborg it's uh, the separate theme it's very interesting from the point of view of the technology what uh, the difference between cyborgs and humans in which way it was very uh, interesting to write at the part of the book and it's interesting to read from the point of view of how technology develop and yeah so and who is Samelia in this book and how they close to our topic uh, like in the case of our theme and all these artificial intelligence services it depends on uh, uh, what you will write to the service what request you will create and uh, depends on this uh, you will you will receive the result depends on how, uh, which artist you will write as a reference what you will write and a, a lot of this stuff and in this book uh, Samilia is they was kind of diving in the the old network and create the video uh, and the the coolest sommelier was the people who understand styles who understand on which artists directors and operators he can refer the same way as now artists with the situation of these services uh, artificial intelligence with the art so we came to the question 
what is more important and who could work better uh, with the services artists or art critics those who know how to create images or those who know the much more bigger uh, artists on which they can refer and it's advantages <laughs> advantages and disadvantages each of them uh, really exist because um, in different questions in different situations uh, each of them can be better uh, for example it's uh, very important to know on who you refer what style did you choose but uh, creating of image of illustration is uh, often not mm, going not like that you always know from the beginning what you wish to receive at the end it's happen in process like on oil paintings and digital paintings it don't matter so in this case uh, when you create the illustration with uh, my journey for example my journey uh, you receive these uh, images and you make variation you will show to the network what path it will choose and how improve the in which site will improve the illustration it's it choose the artist so in such cases artist is uh, can receive a better result in the end uh, it's interesting question about art don't art how to perceive all this stuff and when you create the images you think kind of wow cool i, I made it <laughs> i draw it and all this stuff but um, when you reach almost the same illustration in the same style made by different people you begin to understand that it's not your drawing it's not your illustration you just find some key uh, in program in algorithm and you know how to receive some result and not only you could receive the same result this one in the center was made by Walton and from the left and right it's mine as you can see it's absolutely different uh, absolutely the same style and it was made in different time uh, different by different people we will uh, talk a little bit about styles with Walton but I made my about three months ago and he made its uh, variant about a few weeks ago and <laughs> just the same key so how much time does it consume and will it uh, save some time in production for you now and how much yes is it fast and simple as i say before and as you could understand till now it's not very fast sometimes yeah you could receive good result from the beginning you could just post a request and in a few minutes receive cool illustration what you need but sometimes you need to spend two three four hours create dozens of uh, variation and uh, after this you will receive some result and usually you need to work with this result further to receive a good illustration and fi final will you always get what you want not not always because uh, as i say it's like a roulette you could uh, write something you uh, wait that you will receive some what <laughs> the result uh, sorry for my bad english uh, so uh, you try to you will wait for the one result but you 
could, uh, for example, don't reach it, never. But you could receive other very good variants. Does it replace artist or help artist? In such cases, mm, yeah, we have the um, like cases where some small studios could uh, receive some images and use it without even artists. But uh, for example, for the medium sized uh, companies, for the big companies, and for those who wish to receive exactly what they want, not something random. Because uh, when you're working with uh, images and with all the services, you usually receive some random cool image and you work further with what you receive. In on companies and projects, you usually need to create what you need, not what uh, some something random. And it's very depends on on the design of characters. So it's a good, uh, usually it's a good instrument for helping artists, not to replace them. And this is the situation, what I wish to talk about a little bit. It's, uh, it's very respectful man. I very respect Sergei Orlovsky. He's the head of uh, and owner of Nival company. As I remember, and we had a discussion in the Facebook, and I hope he is watching this <laughs> stream now because I invite him. And he made a post about kind of, as you could read today, anyone can access Dalian Minchoni and the professional illustrators, profession of illustrators. Illustrator is already dead. Concept artists will still complete, compete at least some of them. And later he will write something like, you can fire all your artists now and, and all other stuff. Uh, but uh, I wish to talk about this a little bit and it will be very interesting to receive, to, to see how for example, artificial intelligence will make an illustration in which uh, every element and shape has uh, important uh, has importance on the composition. How artificial intelligence will create the composition when color is working and color is the important part. Of the composition is the key of the idea of the composition. Mm, a lot of illustrations uh, based on the important role of each brush, brush stroke and each shape with uh, some, with such elements and such understandings, artificial intelligence couldn't work now. For example, like that illustration, it's just a few shapes, but strong idea. Yeah. Oh, uh, neural networks couldn't create such things, or it could help you create if you have this idea. You could make a quick sketch, draw by tone, and upload it to the mid journey or stable diffusion, and it will improve you in some way. Lot epic compositions, and it was the illustration for the uh, magazine. It's too made by the Sergei Kolisov, very cool artist. And on such big composition, each element have some sense. It's not just right by because artist want it put there because he want to show something. And at this moment. Illustration was created. A image is uh, just more like a random stuff. And illustration where every element have some sense, 
such uh, composition with the characters that you need, unusual composition. All this stuff uh, is not very easy for the artificial intelligence. It's a uh, good artist will create much faster uh, some sketches and from this after this illustration it will be better than uh, to use the uh, network artificial and uh, uh, we have the situation in the industry in the world with a strongly misunderstanding of the word illustrator a lot of companies, a lot of people uh, mm, think that Illustrator is uh, people who just draw uh, overpainted concept of other artists and they kind of like a brush in the hand of the game designers and producers. But in original Illustrator it's the artists who create about all the composition, idea, light and all stuff and illustrators create like the whole bunch and all, all illustration in the book for example or for the movie and it's kind of the highest skill professional in for example book industry and like uh, Arlovsky say that illustrator that already uh, not and I hope it will won't be soon and um, for example nowadays in the Europe uh, there exist a lot of conferences for the illustrators and uh, seven or seventy thousands uh, people uh, not people <laughs> huge conferences of for illustrators is exist. So um, generating, generating time for images can end up to be a lot of hours and often it could be without result. For example, a uh, week ago I sent a request to create a sci-fi portal with the element of crystals and it give me just just crystals without any portal without any sci-fi or them door and few crystals and such situation you can often see like i say it's i put this in example because of this phrase good specialists can create much more for the same amount of time like this it's the quad uh, fast sketches and usually main purpose for the most task is just a matter of inspiration. Example for the command with the prompts. As you could see the first uh, image, it's a... Uh, who is this actor? Robin Williams. 10 minutes. Wow. It's a very long time. <laughs> Even when you put the same request and prompt no you will not always receive the same result it's a situation when people think that they could uh, receive working cool characters just in a few minutes and but in result what they receive in a few minutes just a standard 3D model from such some service. So who will create design of this character? Rig, uh, who will make uh, all textures in one style? A lot of questions, uh, a lot of things that you wouldn't do without a good artist. It's a good example uh, of uh, task 
setting forties and understanding is what is it because often people think that uh, it's very easy to receive what you wish but uh, there was a situation with my friend when director producer say like make a polar uh, a main character from the mm, movie polar with Mads Mikkelsen but my friend didn't watch at that moment this movie and he asked can you explain me and describe this character uh, what you wish to see in this character and they couldn't because uh, you need also uh, have a skill to describe what you need to these services and it's it's important and uh, all this feedback to the artist uh, the same will be with the services you need to know very and precise what you wish to receive and the uh, creation of all the stuff often become uh, in the process create all this stuff which what what I will never be able to do consciously at least not anytime soon it's when artists working with the space ideas composition when to, uh, tone work as part of the composition and create silhouettes ideas and all this stuff it's just a few examples you could find a lot of them in the internet how can artists use the work of i so first of all it's an inspiration finding interesting and unusual ideas design color composition architecture texture and blending different things and elements uh, it's uh, my experiments and it's what i work just for myself it's example how you could use the artificial intelligence i wish to receive how and uh, so this tower in some background i generated background i didn't need to draw it and yeah it was helped me a lot greatly and save a lot of time oh i wish to make some uh, different sketches and ideas for the spaceship i generate different uh, a lot of images and this small part seems to me very interesting yeah. and looking on this element i made the sketch but it's not what you just can take and use the same with this i take few shapes some ideas few textures and create something some other stuff it's one more example of how artists can use <coughs> and these services you can create uh, fast sketch and artificial intelligence will improve it to you also a lot of comics already has been created i know about at least three of them it's quite a good result <sighs> what you artists can't find in the work of other artists what is not easy to find what i mean uh, i mean all this stuff about compositions ideas colors you could find go to the art station i don't know the best uh, way is go to art station and you could find good examples of the good illustration of professional artists what can expire you and it will be a good references you don't need generate a lot of images to receive some good examples of color uh, compositions and other but for example to create a different textures it's very cool you can fast generate a lot of them or blend different strange things and elements uh, it's example of textures and this example of blending different things this one is very funny because it uh, was request uh, sea salmon in the river and it's how artificial intelligence understand it and how it show and uh, celebrities yeah of course of course you can create a lot of different uh, images with celebrities because a lot of images there in in internet so how much time can I image save in the production process? <coughs> All project it's 
a lot of work. 3D texture and level design, rig animation, game design, QA, makeup, marketing, and some other stuff. And concept art, it's not big, very important, but not very big part of the project. And artificial intelligence and all AI images, it's a small part of uh, the concept art and all the stuff. So, uh, for those people who thought that uh, AI image could save them a lot of time or a lot of money, it's uh, don't work in this way. In best case, you could save one or two percent in time or in money. But the most cases, it's just uh, you need to perceive it like the artificial intelligence could give you much more variance for, for inspiration. Legal issue, it's a difficult question. Uh, we don't know a lot about this, but it's a story about some scandal already. One artist draws something, other took a screenshot and put inside of Mid Journey and begin arguing each on each other who was the first, who is the author of this illustration and all difficult. And we will see much more of such situation, I think. Uh, how would it be correct to create a neural network? An example with the logic of building neural network. It's uh, for developers what I would like to receive and it will be good to receive it, a good professional instrument for the artist. So, five minutes. <laughs> and it will be good to receive much more settings for artists, especially for Midjourney, to receive more control about it. Uh, split to different steps, like, firstly, you will, it will be good if you first could create the composition. Not all the image, but composition. And you could choose the composition that you like and further make a different variance of tone and contrast. When you uh, like approve the second step, you can move forward and work with light. After this, you could choose different styles for all what you choose till this moment. And in this way, it will be looking like a real professional uh, service. And it will be good to make a possibility to work with separate elements on the image. For example, you create an uh, image with a bottle or with knights and all other stuff. And you could choose, I need, I take this knight and I need it in other pose, in other style, in uh, other emotional uh, stuff, something like this. And steps. Uh, all steps on each element for collage and fun and for example when you could create different uh, parts of the image to implement uh, to use like different styles on different elements I get you. <laughs> so the main scene philosophical question of all of this I will drink a little bit of tea and read it it's the end of this presentation I write it here and I will read it just as I write. Humans have reached an interesting stage in their progress when they felt the need not only to make a humanoid robot that would perform all difficult or routine work but also to reproduce individual human abilities in the form of various services such as ones we are talking about. Also, not only. Everything got to the point where we start creating online worlds, more games. And every year we try to make these worlds as close as possible to ours. We even provide an opportunity for the people <coughs> we created to engage in creativity sometimes something that has always been only a human prerogative. For now, this is only a scripted actions, but over time, 
with the help of technology, humanity will create a virtual humanity in which humans will live, die, go to work and engage in creativity and self-development. World mythologies and religion tell us that the ability to create was given to man by the gods and the god manifests his essence in the man when he is able to create. If we explore it, this myth to modern times, it seems <coughs> that humanity is gradually approaching the moment when having become like its gods, it will be able to create a completely new world and mind, similar to the human one, which will also be busy with creativity and self-development in its world. For what? This is an interesting question, uh, maybe for research, maybe just for fun, maybe to understand ourselves better and look from the outside. And if we impose the principle of scientific exploration on this whole situation, then science will show us a high probability that we could have also been created by someone. For what? Maybe because God saw everything that he made and behold is it was very good <laughs> but in any case it's a good question to ask yourself that's all thank you <laughs>
simplify this process of creating uh, UI because it's very technical things, but uh, but but the main issue and problem with the creation of uh, UI and all the stuff it's it's a style you need it to fit the style of other game gamma and all the stuff that's why you need uh, to improve all this algorithm to they should be like uh, this program for the texture in how to say substance yes substance so for now we don't see such situation in future yes and uh, about illustration and what i wish to say and forget for example concept artists could even be replaced much more faster than illustrators because uh, <clears throat> as i show mm, now a lot of different interesting stuff you can receive uh, from the the services and good uh, 3d modelers 3d artists is uh, could just watch at them and just begin to work illustration is a uh, different things so illustration with will stay much more longer with work and alive than i think than concept artists In any case, it will be not so fast. And uh, in any case, what will do artists if, uh, even if the artificial intelligence will be so cool? All people need the work. All people need the salary to live, to spend their money and all the stuff. It, what you are talking about, it's the, the changing of all society of humankind. I mean, uh, to replace, if uh, services will replace the specialists, then who could spend their money uh, for buying result of these services? Each people need to have work, each people receive salary, and the salary that they spend for the uh, stuff, for the games, and all other things. If, uh, uh, all the services replace specialists, then uh, how people could uh, receive this money for all this stuff that produced by these services. What, when, where it? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. For now, I, I think I understand your question. Is uh, is it conscious the process of the I image of these services? For now, it's not absolutely. It's just the uh, shapes, tones, and, and parts they took from the uh, different illustration. And uh, I think my idea, my, my beliefs. I don't know. I think that. Uh, in the future, artificial intelligence will greatly improve and it will understand all this process. But uh, 
it's uh, it need more time it it must be much more complicated it must become like think like a human and only when you combine all of this uh, stuff the artificial intelligence will begin to understand how it create and for what purpose and uh, then place each elements on each uh, these uh, important things but i think we have at least 10 20 years something like this uh, the most dangerous thing i think uh, what will be it's uh, each uh, mind living or not living have the stage of uh, like uh, <laughs> improving development so when uh, to receive a high at the high level understandable at very and very smart artificial intelligence is very good is very cool and it will improve the life of all humanity but uh, when it will have this period like humans about 15 years this is when uh, people become growing up and all this uh, stuff when <laughs> all changes the artificial intelligence could create a lot of problems too <laughs> so I, I might say it, it's very complicated but i think you i hope you understand it thank you vitaly we're gonna have to